Oh yeah, I remember where it left off. Everything's on fire and half my crew is dead. All because I totally misplayed. Everyone knows tortoises explode in the wild. Why do you think they move so slowly? Do they have a f bomb attached to their backs? Do turtles even have claws, or is this like, like a schlong? I mean, look, even the description says it has a venomous tip. This, this is not subtle. I mean, this is not subtle at all. I'm just doing a little bit more inventory management. Finishing off these arrowheads, crafting a little bit more potions, you know, the like, 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 just stop, this, this feels like stalking, stop, stop watching me. I mean, you're seriously watching a dude put things into a bag, like, how low, how low can you get? Several bad puns later. After the battle, I got demoralized and I found this grave. I mean, might as well start digging a space for me. Man, it's, it's taken. I, I can't even do anything right now. It's fine. Everything's fine. I killed the zombie. Don't ask any questions. Just move along. It's, it's, it's perfectly fine. Everyone's on fire, but that's absolutely no reason to ask the question on what happened and as to why I have one less resurrection scroll than before. You cover your face with your hands. You've just heard the news. As he teaching Boy Scouts, to learn first aid, you must consume the head of a person who knows first aid. Say, do all lizards smell like oranges, or is it... Silly rat. Lizards smell like pumpkins. So tell me. Start from the beginning. Start- I see. I see. I What's my favorite restaurant? I well, Ruby Tuesday, obviously. See the things we <gasps> it's a ruby! Man, I want to steal from this guy, but I want to get another level in sneaking, as well as hit level 4, so they start selling level 2 skill books. That's also a very strange way to spell pumpkin. Damn dirty lizards hoarding all the drug-filled pumpkins. <laughs> I decided to go around and steal all these items on the ground. Huh, that, that rhymed. The turtles really pissed me off. They almost tortoised my team apart. A foolproof way to steal from any person is to have one person talk to the guy and have the other take the items. After they're done taking the items, teleport them away to a waypoint and finish the conversation. Wait around with the person who started the conversation and the NPC will accuse them of stealing. Let them search for their items, but I hope they don't have anything. You're just an innocent dwarf looking for a beer trim. No consequence fencing at its finest. Yoink! 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 Now we navigate her to the crocodiles. I'm really surprised no one is triggered for me calling them both alligators and crocodiles over the last few series. Uh, fun fact though, gators have lungs, and when they go underwater, they have a little membrane that stops water from entering their throats. If a gator grabs you and tries to drown you, simply reach inside his mouth and punch really hard. The gator will start drowning and let you go. So I started the fight by summoning the elemental totem and the incarnates. What I didn't realize is that the incarnate would actually trigger the alligators, so I guess, yeah, this is, this is how we start. Interesting thing is that for some reason the alligators had three turns in a row, which I don't think it should happen. Usually the crocodiles get spaced out between my party members, like my party member goes first and the enemy and then my party member. I guess it's just a glitch. I really hate this fight. Uh, it's not because it's hard, well now it isn't, since we're pretty much over leveled and over geared, but the fact that they cast oil spells on you constantly and it's just so annoying moving with half movement speed. It really bothered me Fane had 3 AP after he's playing dead. For some reason I thought I used Chloroform in the previous turn, but looks like we'll be wasting 1 AP here. I didn't really want to move Losa this turn, since she was more oiled up than a bikini model. So I cast Rain to try to get rid of it and then restored Subble.
If I don't have anything to do, I usually try to at least use up the AP so I have two AP left, so that next turn I'll have the full six AP. It's it's probably pretty self-explanatory. I'm trying to move Losa in such a way that she can actually hit these gators. Uh, sadly, the way this terrain and this stupid tree is set up, she can't. I'm gonna save this 2 AP just in case the crocodiles move on to a position from which I can actually hit them without wasting movement points getting there. Of course, more oil. But yeah, I was right. Act 1 Master Tactician over here. As always, the goal is to crowd control them as much as possible. If they can't move, then it's just easy free hits on them. Overall, this fight was pretty much a cakewalk. Since we have Lucky Charm 2 and just did a lot of other stuff before going here, we have so much gear that it's just, it's just so easy. Aha! Little did they know, I was alive all along. Just some tactical play, getting hit by two opportunist attacks at the same time. Headbutting a crocodile, I would not recommend in real life. And yeah, there we have it. Like every normal reptile, the alligators do not explode on death. I'm still pretty salty. Since I just leveled up, I'm gonna go over some theory crafting for my party. Feel free to skip if you don't care, I'll put the timestamp for it in the description. Sebel, I'm pumping Finesse because she's a ranger. I don't really care about wits yet because my critical strike chance is still so low and I'd rather have 5% damage increase. The way I see critical strike chance is as a buff to your base damage. Uh, for example, 1% critical strike chance is like dealing 0.5% increase in damage. Well that's because when you do land a critical strike, it will hit for 150% damage, but since this will only happen once every 100 hits or so, I average it giving a 0.5% increase per hit. It's really not worth it to pump wits early since I don't even have any abilities for it to apply to yet. I also gave Sebel a point in Scoundrel as well uh, to let her use the adrenaline she got from eating some limbs. Talents I couldn't decide yet, but in the end went for a far out man since 2 meters range will probably save my ass one day. Lo says the same concept, I pumped intelligence because I don't have spells to learn. Uh, next level will probably put points into memory and buy out most of the shops out of their books. I'm still working on getting her to have at least two points in every elemental skill. Talent is far out man as well. Uh, Fane gave points in finesse, more points in scoundrel. Scoundrel is so good with the increased damage and movement speed. I'll pump this for a few more points and start specking to warfare to get even more damage because it applies to any kind of physical hit. Beast is more strength. I should probably start putting points to constitution, but hey, I'm pretty ballsy. Plus I want to be able to actually carry around more barrels. I gave a point in necromancy just for mosquito swarm. That and the fact that dealing AoE damage heals for every damage instance, so it might actually save him. Hothead, so I don't miss and crit more often. I probably should have grabbed Comeback Kid though, since I'm finding that enemies are one-shotting his entire armor off, but hey. Plus it probably saved me a resurrection scroll against the turtles, but we don't, we don't talk about that. We got the gloves of teleportation. Woo! Now we are off to go to the fun stuff. It really makes you wonder if the gators were wearing these, that's why they were able to teleport, or we made little gloves out of them. Either way, it's pretty cool. We can access some areas we probably shouldn't right now. Uh, first one is up here. Teleport a guy up here and lower the ladder. Pick lock the door to access Oravon's chambers and loot away. <laughs> Thank you.
I was playing with fire here, but it seems that you can pick up all the stuff that's actually on this table without getting seen. I love all these munchkin voices. He's pretty much a total nerd. All he has in this room are books and the latest how to be edgy guide in the form of a blood rain skill book. My goal is to steal this painting one day. You'll see. Uh, beast will grow big and strong. Maybe I should feed him the limbs actually. Uh, if you move away the dressing panel, there's a secret chest behind here. The paintings are worth stealing, and some of them are actually of people who contributed to the Kickstarter. I'm gonna start a collection. Why does he have three beds in his room? I just don't understand. Like, he can't even... He can't even, like, plow. They're all, like, single twin-sized beds, jeez. At least put two of them together or something. I just realized something. Where... where did my cat go? Did, did the turtles blow him up? I don't I don't remember. I need to go back and look at the footage. God God damn it. No oh my god. I, I think I'm gonna stop here. I'll I'll see you guys in the next one maybe. It's a goddamn catastrophe, that's what that is.